Back in Memphis, Sam Phillips had discovered another explosive talent ready to be unleashed. between Memphis and New Orleans and Ferry Day, Louisiana, the man they were to call the killer shared with Little Richard a gospel upbringing. A boogie version of Drinking Wine's Podiodi, a tune by black blues singer Stick McGee, was the first song Jerry Lee Lewis performed professionally at the age of 13 for just a few dollars. Come on, baby, pass that old bottle to me. Well, I remember my, my Aunt Minnie Bell Swagger, Jimmy's mother, she got on me about that song. She said, now, Jerry, that's not a Christian song. I said, I don't, I don't know. I think it's a good song. I had many bells. She said, it's not a Christian song. I said, no, but it's a, it's a good uh, boogie-woogie song. <laughs> and that was 1949. When he was 15, Lewis's mother sent him to Texas to study for the ministry. But honky-tonk music always pulled at his soul. There was a young preacher, he said, Jerry Lee, they want me to do uh, do My God is Real in church. Would you accompany me on the piano? I said, sure, I'd be glad to. You know, I, didn't, I didn't play it like uh, an awesome thing. I may not know. I mean, that's the way some people did. Well, I did it. Awesome thing. And I showed him how to do it, boogie style, you know. And he actually just tore them up, everybody except the dean. And uh, although I saw that dean, he was doing like this to me. Lewis's expulsion from the Southwestern Bible Institute tossed him back into Delta dives and honky tonks. In 1955, he heard about Sam Phillips. I went up to Memphis, me and my dad, and uh, we sold about 39 dozen eggs and raised some money and get some gas. And we went up there and I met Jack Clement, and he said Sam was in Florida on vacation. Jack told me, says, uh, I've got a piano picker that wants you to hear him. He's been hanging around for months, he says, and uh, I finally agreed to go ahead and record it. And I listened to it. Uh, and and, and I, I kid you not. I mean, he, I, I think the first side I heard was you win. A, no, 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 no. Crazy arms. And I, I didn't. I didn't get. I, I did not get eight bars into it. I said, "Where in the hell is this cat?" And it was just. Uh... Sam Phillips signed the 21-year-old Lewis to Sun Records. Then, sometime in 1956, in a club called The Wagon Wheel, Lewis heard the song that would ignite his career. I was walking in the club, I was late that night, and I heard this uh, guy singing a whole lot of shaking going on. And I listened to it and I said, man, I don't know where that's coming from. I said, that's Johnny singing. I said, that is a hit. And he was, he'd done the whole thing. Like, Easy now, stand it in one spot and wiggle it around a little bit, you know. And that's where I learned a whole lot of shaking. And Jerry Lee did it, and we, we did the song, and, and we got such a tremendous response. I guess we must have had to play it at least a dozen times that night. So we all agreed uh, on the way to Dallas, we talked about it, that uh, the minute we got back to Memphis, we should uh, go to the studio and, and, and record it. We took um, just one take. That was it. We didn't even run through the song. We just sat down and Jack let me turn the, the, the machine on and we cut a whole lot of shaking going on. Easy now, shake. 
Oh, shake, baby. You can shake one time for me. Oh, there's nothing like to come on over, baby. A whole lot of shake going on. Now, let's get real low, shake. All you got to do, honey, kind of stand in one spot. Jump around just a little bit. That's when you have black got something, you know. Now, let's go. And I think it all stems from that intuitive thing about religion and about the fervor of the Holy Ghost in us all in some way that we may not even know about.